All right, WR, um, Donald here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade wand using some relatively cheap stuff. You can get it like Walmart or just about any uh, general store. So basically, what you need are wooden dowels. Okay, they were like 97 cents at Walmart. Um, some Sculpey. Okay, um, I got two because I'm planning on making more than one wand. I usually normally use like three quarters of this for one wand, maybe half, if I'm, you know, being careful with it. Um, but it's pretty cheap. You just have to wash it whenever you cook it so you don't burn it, because if you burn it, it turns black and it's gross. Um, then you'll need paint of any color. In this case, uh, I chose dark brown. Um, paint brushes, obviously. And I like to put clear spray paint on it to make it kind of glossy and not as, uh, whenever you paint it, it feels really dry. So I like to gloss it to make it look pretty and, you know, make it look cool. So basically, what you're going to do is open up these wooden dowels the correct way and choose the one that you want. Um, I think I'm going to go with the slightly thick one, but it's about wand length. I found these at Walmart. Um, normally I just get like one of the big ones that you can get at like, Home Depot or something and do that and like cut it to how I want it, but I found these at Walmart and they're like the perfect length, I think. So it's all up to you, however you want it to be, uh, however long you want it to be. So then you're going to take a thing of Sculpey. Okay, and I'll tilt this down so you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. So you have your Sculpey, take it out. I'm going to pull half of it off for now. It comes in little, it's got little lines on it or whatever, so you can break it pretty easily. But you're just going to kind of play with it until you get it however you want it. Soft enough, at least. Um, the only thing I can say, really, I like to start out kind of mashing it up a couple times, getting it kind of, you know, pliable. Um, and then taking it and kind of making a platform out of it, or like a flat, I guess, platform, I don't know. But basically, you get it to where it's the, the length of the handle that you want it to be, okay, kind of in a, in a flat platform kind of thing, kind of measured on the stick as you go, and then I just wrap it around and make it. This is always kind of the hard part, getting it to stick on the actual dowel. Um, I don't know, it doesn't always like to hold on to it too well. But once you uh, get it all mashed on there and everything pretty good, it normally stays pretty well. So now you have kind of a rough wand, okay? Um, from this point, you can pretty much shape that however you'd like. Um, you can recreate wands from the movies, um, look up stuff online as to like what other people are doing. Um, I don't know. It's it's all it's up to you because it's going to be unique. You can try to recreate stuff in the movies, but it's not exactly easy because I'm not really um, artistic, I guess. Um, but one thing I do recommend that you get is like a small knife, like a pen knife or um, just something kind of small like that. Because if you want to do like ridges, it makes it really good um, for doing that kind of stuff. Uh, so here we are with the handle. Okay, just kind of now. This is always what takes the longest, is actually deciding how you want to make it look. Um, looks really dirty. I'm just going to make a pretty basic one today for, for the tutorial. Alright, I think I'm done because I don't want to do anything else and this is only a tutorial took a lot longer than I thought. Like This is already 17 minutes in the video, so it's going to require a lot of editing to get all this crap out. 
basic wand, okay. Here we go with my perfectionist. Again. Oh, almost dropped it. So after you get it all sorted out and you have it the way that you want it, okay, you're going to walk over to your little oven. Take you guys over there with me, okay? And you're going to preheat it to 275 degrees and have it warm up. Make sure nothing's in there. All is good. So you take your wand or whatever and you sit and you wait for your oven to warm up. So after your oven is preheated, you put your wand on a cookie sheet. Okay, so you take it, set it down there, and you stick it in the oven for 15 minutes at 275 or until it looks like it's done, which, I mean, if it's starting to burn and turn black, it's burning and turning black, so uh, take it out, but be careful because it's going to be really hot. Now, while we wait for the uh, wand to cook over in the oven, um, you, see, you saw that I started out with two little bricks of Sculpey or whatever. I ended up with this much extra. That's almost a full other brick. So, I mean, you, a, lot, a little bit of sculpting can go a long way. It all just kind of depends on how you use it. Um, and the only thing I can tell you is, you know, have fun with it. Don't don't be afraid to, you know, experiment with different different styles. Like I've tried out different, like square stuff and um, like a twisted one. I don't know. I've tried a bunch of stuff, but um, it's always cool to figure out like find out how creative you can be with different wands and stuff. So There it is. It's very hot and needs to cool, but the wand has been cooked. Um, ooh, really, really hot. Um, hang on. As you can see, it's pretty hot, and uh, this is not my best wand by far. But now what you're going to do is once this cools down, you're going to take your paint and your paintbrush and you're going to go crazy and paint it however you want. You can use whatever colors you want, um, add whatever designs you want. It's all, it's, it's all up to you. Like, go crazy with it. It's just really, really hot. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like a hard process. It's just time consuming and it's kind of, I don't know, weird. Oh. Suggestion with the paint is use a napkin or a paper plate to um, paint because your parents, if you live with them, probably will not be very happy if there's like brown or you know whatever color paint all over the place on their dishes and such. So I normally use a paper plate, but we're all out right now. Ah, look, her house colors, but. I'm going to choose red and just get some on your brush and go at it. Start painting it however you want. Although I would definitely suggest you let it cool quite a bit longer than I did because um, I didn't let it cool long enough. So it's probably going to turn out like absolute crap. But it's okay because it's a tutorial wand. Not a big deal. And there you have it, one Harry Potter wand. Now all it needs is a quick spray with the clear spray paint, and you're set. This one um, could be a lot better. It's not painted well, and it wasn't really done on the handle well, but I think overall for, you know, a 20-minute job, it turned out pretty well. Make sure to subscribe to uh, Wizarding Realms uh, YouTube channel and go over to wizardingrealm.net and check out the site. Um, we have a lot of stuff planned. Um, yeah, so check it out.